Ugh. Here's uh, William's magic mic review. How's that curse treating you, Carl? Stupid episode 13. Oh. Sup, ladies? Saw magic mic this week. It's pretty terrible. So I thought I'd make up with it for giving you a real show here. One you were denied magic mic. No, but in all seriousness, um, as I stand here looking like I'm in the portrait of a Sears family photo, uh, Magic Mike Soderbergh kind of let us down. I don't know what else to say. The whole thing, the first hour was just a bunch of dancing high school jocks who failed. And then the second part of the movie, you talked about the seedy underbelly of stripping as if we didn't know it existed. I'm sitting up now, Carl. <laughs> Bring it over, bring it over. No, you work with me. That's how this works. All right, so, uh, oh God, that's so much better. I need a cigarette. Uh, was it good for you? No. <laughs> um, no, but the latter part of the movie, they, they couldn't decide between the three storylines that they had picked. They had the, uh, the new kid who uh, is taken under, Magic Mike, under Channing Tatum's wing. He's like 19, and he starts discovering that there's a drug culture within stripping. I didn't know, did you know? I didn't know. Um, but, and he, he gets in debt for like 10 grand. At the same time, they're also exploring a storyline of Channing Tatum just getting older and realizing he can't strip forever, very Marissa Tomei and The Wrestler. And then the final bit of it is just, uh, Channing Tatum's been having this side relationship with a psychologist who was, stu who was studying psychological behavior in strippers. Didn't happen at all during the movie, which would have been an interesting storyline in and of itself. But he, uh, turns out this affair, He's getting into her, and the, she actually breaks down and says to him, she's like, you ask a lot of questions, your job is to shut up and look good. And so they don't explore any of these storylines to the fullest extent. They just kind of do a hodgepodge of all three, and then at the end, they just wrap it up with happy sentiments between the, uh, the couple that's been you know, having problems the entire movie. So my final review of that is going to be, wait for TV, because there's nothing interesting in the movie, ladies. Sorry. For those of you who thought you were going to see a Chippendale show, not going to happen. They could show this on TV and not cut out a single thing. So, wait for TV. I'm going to send it over to Carl, who's waiting to do his review of Ted. So, uh, Carl, go! 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 <laughs> I'll be right back.